Our lesson for today is all about changes in solid materials when it's bent, pressed, hammered, and cut. So what is a solid material? So a solid has definite shape and volume. You can hold solids. So solid have different characteristics or properties such as size, shape, color, texture, weight. So meaning, ang solid material ay yung mga bagay na nahahawakan natin. May eksaktong hugis, may eksaktong bigat, may eksaktong color. Lahat ng nahahawakan natin ay ang mga solid materials. Okay? So, solid materials can be changed through many ways. So, pwede daw natin mabago yung itsura ng solid materials sa madaming paraan. Una nun ay by cutting, by tearing, by folding, twisting, bending, stretching, pressing, coloring, crumpling, melting, and others. So, such actions may change their size, color, shape, texture, and other characteristics and properties. So, first, what happens to the solid materials when it is bent? Ano po ba yung bent, ma'am? So, bent is to turn or force from straight or even to curve and it's back to the original Position. Ang Tagalog ng bent ay binabaloktot or babaloktorin natin. Pag binaloktot natin ng isang bagay, pwede din natin siyang ibalik sa dati niyang position. So, this is the example of bent. So, these are the examples of the materials that can be bent. First one, plastic ruler. Second one, glue stick. Third one, cell phone case. Last one, cell phone cable. Ductility is an ability of the materials to be hammered, thin, bend, or stretched without breaking. So, ibig sabihin, ductile ang isang bagay kapag uh, nabibent natin siya, na stretch na hindi siya nasisira. While, brittle or hard but liable to break or shatter easily. Kapag ang solid material naman ay uh, tinray natin i-stretch or i-bend, tapos nasira siya. Ibig sabihin, brittled yung isang bagay na yun. Okay? Ayun yung pinagkaiba ni ductility at saka ni brittle. We must remember that solid materials can be bent. When we bent the solid materials, so these materials may change their size and shape. But there's no new material form. Only the physical appearance of the material is change, okay? So, bending of solid materials is applied in situations like bending of steel, bars, or iron in our industry. What happens to the solid materials when it pressed? So, what is press, teacher? So, press is applying pressure to flatten the shape and object. So, ayun yung ginagawa natin. It pinipressure natin yung isang solid materials para ma-flat siya. These are the examples of pressed. So, these are the examples of the materials that can be pressed. First one is bread.
Okay, second one, rubber ball. Sponge. So, solid materials also can be pressed. When we press the solid materials, so these materials may change their size shape and sometimes and other and sometimes other solid materials can change also their texture however there's no new material form when we press the solid material kahit i-press natin sila ng madaming madaming beses uh, for example uh, a sponge we press the sponge uh, many times at 100 times still sponge pa din po siya they what happened to the solid materials when we hammered? At po yung hammer, ma'am. So, hammer, it is used for pounding or breaking an object. So, nakakita naman na siguro kayo ng hammer, di ba? So, ayun yung ginagamit ni tatay or ni nanay para mag-pound or mag-break ng isang bagay para durugin yung isang bagay. So, these are the materials that can be hammered. Pepper. Next one. Garlic. Bottle cup. Last one, stone. So, solid materials also can hammer depending on their composition. So, depende daw kung saan sila gawa. So, when hammered, these materials may change their size, shape, and even their texture. But still, there's no new material form when we hammer the solid materials. For example, um, we hammer the stone. So, mag-iiba mag lang yung size niya, mag-iiba lang yung shape niya, and even your, yung texture niya, pero stone pa din siya, lumiit lang yung size niya. Only the physical appearance of the stone change when we hammer the material. Ayun yung ano, isang example ng hammer. What happens to the solid materials when we cut? Ano kaya mangyayari kapag kinakat? Ano po ba yung cut, ma'am? So, cut, it's an action of dividing objects by using sharp edge of object like knife and scissor. So, yung cut daw, ayun daw yung ginaga ginagawa natin para ma-divide. Ano ba yung ma-divide? Mahati-hati natin yung isang solid material by using sharp edge or yung mga matutulis na bagay gaya ng knife and scissor. This is the examples of cut. So, these are the examples of materials that can be cut yeah, first one is cheese. Plastic. So we can use the scissor to cut this. Plastic. Just 
straw. Paper. You can use nail cutter to change the size and even the shape of our nail. So, solid materials can be cut also. So when we cut a solid materials, these materials may change their size and shape. But there's no new material form again. So not all solid materials can cut using simple scissors. So hindi lahat ng solid material ay kaya pala nating uh, guntingin sa mga simpleng scissor natin. So some solid materials like iron, steel can be cut using sophisticated cutters. For example, meron silang metal cutter para doon. Machine cutter. Kasi sobrang tigas niya na. Now, let's have a short quiz. Number one. What happened to the solid materials when they were bent? Very good. They may change in size and shape. Number two. What happened to the solid materials when they were pressed? Good job! They may change in size, shape, and sometimes even texture. Number three. What happened to the solid materials when they were hammered? Very good! They may change in size, shape, and sometimes even texture. Number four. What happened to the solid materials when they were cut? Very good. They may change in size and shape. Last number, number five. Was a new material formed when a solid material was bent, pressed, hammered, or cut? Good job! There was no new material formed when solid material was bent, pressed, hammered, or cut. So, naintindihan po yung lesson natin ngayon ha. Maraming salamat sa pakikinig!